Hey, good morning, friends. A little busy morning, but it's also first day of the month, which means we will have a new hero of the month. We have this one, Anushka. Dark, droid class talent. This will activate in about 305 days. Has a passive of resist blind. Uh, doesn't apply to status effects from allies. Those, I think Grim Forest, if I remember, heroes, they give ailments. Or if any of the allies give you ailments. So, doesn't apply to that. Second passive is this character receives 10% health when they receive a status ailment or a negative stack. Okay. Stats 861 is absolutely unfair. 943, okay. 1664, good. I would say good because this is Hero of the Month. Can't expect more from the game. But this is terrible. Low. Okay. <clears throat> there is a reason, of course, as we read on. Strange. Okay. Incense. Is a special at average speed. Recovers 25% health for all allies. Okay. Steals all dispellable buffs from the target and randomly distributes them on allies. So only one target, which means to fire her, a target has to be tapped. Remember that. Very important. This is something that um, I many times forget while using uh, Guinevere costume. I have to tap a target. Otherwise, some fellow in the corner, since she takes away mana from three, she goes into the corner, which means just takes it from two because I have not tapped. So I need to tap. So, yeah, unless there is only one target, which is taunt, which means that will automatically get chosen because that's the only target that can be accessed for dispel. Then after stealing that buff and distributing it across allies, um, the target falls asleep. So one target falls asleep. While asleep, the target cannot attack or gain mana. All damage dealt to the sleeping target is increased by plus 40%. We know all this from another green guy that had come long back. The sleeping target is woken once it takes damage. The damage could be if she is on offense. The damage could be very straightforward tiles or via the special and uh, the target becomes awake. And if she is on defense and the target has fallen over here, fallen asleep over here, then uh, it becomes a little tough from my experience because there are no tiles <laughs> coming to from defense. <laughs> defense is only slash attack and uh, specials, passives, and of course minions and fiends. So let's read on. Sleeping targets uh, uh, damage the excludes damage from minions and fiends. So no minion and fiend damage is going to be calculated as damage for a sleeping target, which is actually good. Element link gives all dark allies plus 10% additional special skill damage for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled. So, uh, tricky. What makes uh, the sleep part is the tricky. Otherwise, everything else is straight jacketed. So uh, I would say both the passives are useful for this hero. 25% um, health, I would say, is on the lower side because below is not much happening. If um, this could be steals all dispellable buffs from the targets, from the from target and nearby, that would have been much better. Um, at least there is a steal possible and utility 
because keeping 25% health, I mean, in today's times is absolute crap. It hardly means anything. So, and it's not even booster health. It's just plain health. So, yeah. Dispels is useful because there are quite a few things that require dispel, but only from target and randomly distributes them on allies. So yeah, there's an assumption that there could be multiple buffs, so it might get distributed to multiple fellows, which again is, there is no control over that. And not necessarily, you know, if there is an attack buff, or if there's a heal over time buff, or there's a boosted heal over time buff, or there's a defense buff, or there is a taunt. Okay, great. But it's not game changing, special. It's just a plain dispel. I mean, I can take, any hero, and uh, she's the latest hero of the month. I could take a five or a six year old hero called the Harrer and just take away the same buff, take all the buffs and distribute all buffs. I mean, such an old hero does this. The latest hero of the month should be doing, if not more, at least that much. So, um, well, and the sleep part is tricky when dealing with it, when the sleep giving, uh, ailment giving hero is on defense. And it's tricky when the sleep ailment giving hero is on offense. But that's the playing part. Is it game changing? No. So I'm not too stoked about that. Uh, I would say mixed bag. Nothing great. 25% is too less. It's not even boosted health. One steel is very less. And uh, yeah, target falls asleep is standard because there are a couple of heroes that do that. And those heroes are literally not known in the game. Though I will say, I think there's this green guy from... Uh, one of the Alliance quests, I forget his name, he did cause mayhem, but because he was on defense and he just would make my whole team fall asleep. In the end, he was the only hero existing and it took me a long time to keep sending tiles to see if he could give a slash attack to one of the five heroes on my attacking team and wake that fellow. So I was at the mercy of him. But that's a rare scenario that happens. I had not taken a cleanser very, very clearly. So, of course, no, sorry, I had a cleanser. Gazelle is always there as a cleanser. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he just put everybody to sleep and it was really frustrating. But that's a very rare situation that happened. So, yep. Not happy about this. Um, 2024, March. We can't have a hero of the month like this. Unfair. I will leave it at that. She's going to be straight XP for most. She will be very useful for quite a lot of people also. So I will put that caveat. So, uh, but for a lot of rosters, she will not be leveled up at all. And that's the part that ticks me off that, you know, give a hero that can at least lean towards being leveling up by many players and they can put her to use. We might see a one-off case or a few cases of her being leveled up and limit broken also. I mean, if I was starting, if I had started six months back, I would be very happy to get her because I would be playing at that level. So I will say all those aspects in terms of the max preview. <laughs> this is also very unfair. You have 1100, just reaching 1200. I mean, come on. But that's the silly game that SG plays. So I think we are used to it. I feel stupid even cribbing about it. So I'll leave it at that. Cheers and uh, see you in the next video.